Welcome to Caveman Bricks Builds and More. I am the Caveman and this is Dragon J Boy Gaming. Woohoo! Today we are doing a new set of brick heads here. Woo. This is Lego set 40496. It is brick heads 143, 144, and 145. It is 344 pieces. Mm. It is Lord Voldemort, Nagini, and Bellatrix Lestrange. This is set 40496. I think I said that. Oh. Um, and uh, this did come out with the new anniversary wave, but is not mm -hmm. technically an anniversary set. Because it doesn't have the frog cards. No frog cards, no anniversary logo. Also on this side, it has a silver Voldemort. Uh, he looks silver. We'll look at him in just a second. I don't think he looks silver. Okay, you ready to unbox? Let's show him the front. And I've been noticing that I've been holding the boxes up too high, so I'm going to start trying to hold them a little bit lower. Okay. So we got Voldemort. He's got a white wand, I see. We've got Nagini. We've got a cool printed snake scales piece. Or and we've got. Sticker. Depends on how. No, much. they don't do stickers in the brick heads. There's no stickers in the brick heads. And then um, Bellatrix has got a black wand. And what I noticed about these wands, when we've done some of the other brickheads, they look like sticks, right? Yeah, yeah. This one looks like a wand. And you know what's weird? The giant Harry and Hermione have like the nowadays uh, Lego wizard wands. Mm, with yeah. their wands. We haven't done those yet, but these look like normal wands. The other thing that I noticed is Bellatrix's hair. It's all big and crazy. Um, but it looks brown, and I always thought of her hair as more of a black with a little bit of gray in it. Um, she does have a piece here for like her corset that she wears, so that's kind of cool. Anything else about the front? The okay. nose for Voldemort? Two holes. Yeah. It's always just holes. In you know the weirdest thing? What? In all of Harry Potter, Voldemort's the only one without a nose. In all of Lego Harry Potter, Voldemort's the only one with a nose. It's like someone ripped his nose off. Yeah. It's supposed to be, he's supposed to be more snake-like. Oh, well, he looks more like... You ready to do the back? Also, one thing I noticed that they should have done with Voldemort's head is put some of those, like, slab curb pieces that, mm. like, elevate, like, one yeah. side and, like... They should like, have done some snot. No, like, on the top of his head. Yeah, they head. should have done so, some snot. Moldation. Yeah, they should have done some snot. What? Studs not on top. No, they should have made him more bold looking. Right, because it's got the studs, so you wanted yes. them to snot it. Okay, let's take a look at the back here. Okay, anything else that we notice about the back? They do get stands, which is pretty standard. Uh, um, they'll probably have two big brains and a little brain. It does look like on the back here, I didn't notice it on the front, but it is there. There's a little, little bit of different colored hair in Bellatrix's hair. I don't know. I don't. I don't know about that. Oh, Maybe it'll look cool built. It looks like they use normal. Ones. That's what I was saying. It looks like they have normal wands. Uh, Voldemort looks like he has more printed pieces. Yeah. Maybe his oh his cloak his robes. Yeah, and then his face and yeah. then his eyes and just all that. And here his robes look green. I don't know that they ever look green in the movie. They were definitely black. And the thing about the movies were as each time they destroyed a hor Horcrux, his robes got a little bit more gray. Mm -hmm. Like he was losing his power. Maybe it's a uh, book logic. Maybe, I don't remember them talking about the color of his robes in the book, so that's very possible. So, All right, let's look at this sign here. And I do remember from one specific uh, picture in the book that had like Voldemort or in someone else, like I'm not sure. it out with their wand. Yeah. And his robes being green. Mm. That does not look like a picture of Nagini to me. That looks like a weird looking... Yeah, it just looks like a, like a snake. A uh, rubber snake. Uh, Voldemort does look... Silver. Yeah, he is kind of pretty white and pale, but it does look like they enhanced his color a little bit. And then there's that gray that I was talking about in Bellatrix's hair that is definitely missing. Okay, but instead of putting it over here, they put it over here. But it's not gray, it's like tan. I know, wait, front of the box? 
What is this logic? Uh, here's the top here. They're using the Nagini uh, scale piece there as uh, the comparison piece. Yeah. You can see these brick heads on the box, they look pretty big, but when you actually build them, they're pretty small. This, this Nagini looks cute. Yes. This Nagini now, according to Fantastic Beast, this was a woman that had a blood curse that became a snake, and her name is Nagini. So, oh, um, this side of the box doesn't have a whole lot going on. This side of the box doesn't have a whole lot going on. Okay. So, wait, wait, wait. So, did Voldemort place the curse? No, no, it was before Voldemort. Did Voldemort help her out? I think just Voldemort was able to communicate with her, so she gravitated towards Voldemort. We don't know exactly how Nagini ended up with Voldemort yet. It'd be cool if we got some sort of spin-off series of Voldemort's entire yep. life. All right, what's inside? Two bags, two inch. The two instruction books and wait, three instruction books. Also, I mentioned Nagini does not look intimidating. He looks okay. Like finish, a... buddy. And um, zero stickers. Okay, I'm gonna say three bags, three instruction books, no stickers. Mm, okay. Okay. Hey, Dad. Nagini looks so cute. He yeah, it definitely does look a little more cute than scary in the brickhead yeah. form. The, I don't the know Bella that you can make anyone Voldemort look scary look, in brickhead form. I mean, Voldemort, the brickheads look normal, but Nagini, like, I am virtually afraid of snakes. Right, so there's the Bellatrix know. instruction book. And I just... There's the Nagini instruction book. Back off when I see them. There's but, the Voldemort instruction book. But I am... Bag three. But this Nagini is just like... It's Bag just like two. A, it, it, it's like... It's like two it, It's like... It's like Bag three. Uh, I, I like Bag one. And that is it. So three bags, three instruction books. So I think what we need to do is we need to each pick a character and whoever gets them first will work on Nagini. Uh, you know what? No, no. You get Bellatrix and Nagini. Okay, and you're going to do Voldemort? Yes, want to know why? Why? You always finish first. I know I do. <laughs> so, okay. even though Nagini's not that big. All right, are you ready? Gosh, they Wait, manhandled. These instruction books were the worst instruction books coming out of the box I've ever seen. One of them was actually sticking up through the folds this one of the box. This perfectly fine. Yeah, that one was down in there. But these other two were bad. Oh, started? Yep. Oh, uh, okay. How, how do they get those in those weird positions then? I don't know how they do it. It's frustrating though. Maybe it's the shipping just shaking it so much. Maybe. That. Um, make sure to give me your trash, please. Oh, here you go. Thank you. This is, so there's a second bag three and it's literally all hair. Yo! <laughs> I'm probably gonna win this one. This one specifically because Dad not only has Nagini but Bellatrix's hair. Yeah. <laughs> and her hair has to have a whole separate bag. It has so much hair. Mm. Wow. Bellatrix, do you? Hair. I, I feel like Bel when Bellatrix uh was allowed to roam, I feel like she should have gotten a haircut. <laughs> Definitely one of the things that I think have she been didn't on her want a haircut. Her hair is so big, though. The actress that plays her, mm -hmm. um, Hella Bonham Carter, um, when she was much, much younger, not much, much younger, but much younger, almost looks just like Emma oh. Watson, who played Hermione Granger. Hermione's hair is also a nightmare. Yep. Hair, bad hair, twins. The one thing about it, though, is um, that scene in Deathly Hollows Part 2 where they go to the bank, and it's Helen Bonham Carter 
pretending to be Hermione, pretending to be um, Bellatrix Lestrange. There have been times where I have watched that, and I know that it's Helen Bottom Carter, but there have been times where I have watched that and thought, is that Emma Watson? Like, they do look a lot alike. And then she's such a talented actress that she does it so well that it can be hard to know which one of the two is actually on the screen. She should have also signed up for a cartoon then. Like, if she has that good of a voice impression, then why didn't she get signed up for a no, cartoon? No, it wasn't the voice impression. The voice was still Emma Watson. Uh, they do what they call dub over. Oh, was the dub over good or bad? Good. Oh, because normally dub overs are like... <laughs> That is done like by a the, person called a Foley. The one in like a America Civil War was one of the worst, where they did one of those with a uh, Captain America. Oh. Like, like it was a voiceover thing. It was like a weirder, weird uh, voiceover thing that Captain America did. Did and like it was like so messed up it was like barely him saying the word so like take this right now and then take and then voice this over me doing this it's not gonna sound it's not gonna look remotely the same hmm, i don't remember that i so, you know what you know what where on earth does this go I don't know. Where does it go, Wait, buddy? There's something wrong here. Th does this not attach yet? That's so weird. This does not attach yet. Hmm. Oh, that is weird. Oh, I'm putting in the brain. Already? Yep. I'm on the body. And there's Bellatrix's brain. Why would they put the brain? Wait. I don't know. I think it's just to be silly. Should we look it up? I mean, like, why would you do the brain of all things? Like, oh, I'm definitely making his robes. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. So, who would you be more scared of? Voldemort or Umbridge? So, I would be scared of Voldemort, but if Umbridge walked up to me, I would do one of the forbidden curses on her. But it's forbidden. I don't care. She's one of the worst characters in the franchise. Most people think She that... is a child abuser. She should not even be a teacher. Yeah. She literally tortured the children. She is not a nice person. Some people think Why that she... she's so disliked because people know people that are really like that. Uh, what? Like, in life, you meet people that are really like her. And that's because she's such a real character. Whereas Voldemort, you're not going to meet a dark lord that wants to take over the earth. But you are going to meet a really annoying lady that wants to enforce things a certain way. and Like everything bent to her will? Yes. Like everything. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a lady. It can be a guy too. But you definitely meet people like Umbridge. You do not meet people like Voldemort. And that's what makes her so much more believable, I guess, as a character. Why people dislike her more. Also, Harry is definitely not a realistic character. You're not gonna meet like this like chosen like 
magical person just out on the streets. That's a little bit different, but yes. It's like not it's not what he actually prophecy. is, but what he's doing. You do meet good people that want to get rid of bad people and do good things. Yo, who knew Voldemort's brain was so close to his skin? Look, yeah. here's his brain and here's his the top of his head. I think he needs a cap to protect that part of his brain. Maybe. He needs a cap. Like if his skin is that thin and his brain is that exposed, uh, I, I think, I think Harry should have one easy peasy. All he had to do was Ooh. literally just bonk you in the head and you would uh, have passed out from brain damage. That's literally all Harry had to do to win. Why did Harry not this win so easily? Dark brown pieces can be really hard to see. Brittle browns? Mm -hmm. Didn't say anything about brittle. I know. The memories, though. I'm almost done with Voldemort. Are you? Um. You know what? On second thought, I might do Nagini. <laughs> pieces here. just by one tap just tap him in the very top of the head and oh my i don't think it's a real reflection of his anatomy then why did they put the brains in the first place i don't know just to be fun i guess Lucky. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh. So, how's it going? I'm on step 34. I'm on step 28, and I'm done. Are you? E. Wow. And he's done. Okay, here's Nagini. E. Oh my. I might actually finish even if I do Nagini. Wait. Nagini has two brains! Hmm, we'll have to see if that's true or Here's not. Here's some trash. <laughs> it's two brains! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nagini's a snake, which means she wouldn't be very intelligent. I bet they're not two brains, but two brain cells that Nagini rub rubs together to think. Maybe. Oh, uh, these books. No. They're pretty bad. Why are they so bendy? I don't know. I don't know. You still have a lot of pieces. Though. Yeah. You have as... Uh, hang on. Ah, uh, there's a piece stuck in Nagini. A little more help, Nagini. Do you know? Or that. It is really hard to see where they are putting these pieces too. It is dark brown on dark brown. Ooh, we need a white table for that. It's not the table, it's the picture. Oh, you said dark brown on dark brown, so yeah. the table.
I feel somewhat bad for you. <laughs> you know, normally I'm the one that makes it like a really long video whenever we build, but this time <laughs> yep. we switched. Finally building a hand. Yay! Progress! I think uh, she is by far and away the most difficult brook head to build so far. Uh, I think I'm missing a... Wait, no, I probably just can't find it though, so... Wait, 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 wait. Comparison piece time. Oh, uh, I don't know where the box is, so. It, it's right there. Nope. Oh, yeah. And does it? Remember, they can't see that. It measures up. It measures it. Yeah. So much hair. Literally 95% of her build is just her hair. It is. 95%? I don't know. It's a lot. So snakes, wait, does this mean Voldemort sunbathes to move no. at night? No, Wait. it what, does not mean that. If he's supposed to be more snake-like, mm -hmm. then that means... It doesn't mean that he became cold-blooded, it just means that he wanted to look like a snake. But what about Nagini? I don't know, because she's technically a magical creature, so I doubt that she's cold-blooded. E. But at the same time, the only thing that's magical about her is her being a giant snake. Mm -hmm. Hey, that... Wait, no, actually, no, she's around the actual size of a normal snake, actually. No, she was pretty big. A python's around her size. Yeah, that might be true. Python? person who was Nagini, whenever you turn to a snake, I think your IQ might have shrunk by a lot. Possible. Because it's like only one piece, Dad. That was one piece, not both of them. Is, is that an extra? Yeah, I think that when they do the smaller ones, they normally uh, give an extra one. But wait, that's not all that. That's not all. Uh -huh. Want to know something else? What? Um, this is the smallest brain we've gone so far. Hedwig's was bigger. Hedwig's was like a, a tall one of these. Hmm. Interesting. Same with the, uh, the Griffin got persons. Sims. So, I think Nagini's actually the dumbest magical creature, because she has the small brain. Tell you what, this brown on brown is killing me. They 
highlighted. Yeah, they do highlight it, but it is hard to see. It is an absolute nightmare to put together, though. And I am on step 53 of Bellatrex. I'm on step 15. Yeah, how many steps did you do of Voldemort? Like 28? Yes. So I'm almost double Voldemort. I still have quite a bit to do. Have we got a sponsor yet? That would be cool, but no. I, I just want to know because we've been monetized for a while. Oh no. Yeah, we have not gotten any type of of sponsors or anything like that that I know about. Well, I haven't been searching for a sponsor. I thought sponsors search for you. Sometimes they do. Sometimes you search for them. It just kind of depends on the situation. Most of the <laughs> I'm gonna guess that most of the Nagini is gonna be little parts. Yeah. Because he is a smaller she. figure. She, she. I need the brakes up right now, please. Thank you. Circles everywhere. Am I? I am officially on the step that you makes want, me never mind. twice as long as Voldemort. <clears throat> Say what? So I'm on step 56, which means that I just passed it, which means I've done twice the amount of steps that Voldemort took. Well, I'm lucky I'm doing the kingdom. Yeah. What else would be here for a long time, huh? Yeah. Even though I'm pretty sure you're the quicker builder. Nope. I'm pretty sure I'm still somehow ahead of you, though. It's very possible. This has been very um long 
I'm pretty sure this is actually somehow one of our longest videos. I don't know about that. Yeah, me too. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I am slowly but surely running out of pieces. Me too. I'm almost done with Nagini. Hey, I'm pretty sure I might have actually, wait, how many steps is your thing so far? Um, I think like 60. Voldemort was 27, right? 28. Wait, look, let's see, let's check, let's, let's check. Twenty-eight, yeah. Right. Hey, Dad. Mm hmm. How many do you have? How many steps do I have? Yeah, done. Um, I'm on step. I'm no, about to be. Is Bellatrix? Is Bellatrix? I meant. How many steps is Bellatrix? I well, I'm not done yet, but I'm on step fifty-nine. Well, I did around fifty-two steps. Because 24 plus 28 is 52. Yeah. Yes. Here's all of the extra pieces total. Okay. And the guinea's gone. Oh, oh, oh no. Nope. I hide him for last. He shall be last. And I shall hide him. Yeah, you know, in a mock, maybe we should uh, take our bell tricks and trade some pieces out for gray pieces yeah. to make more sense. Okay. So there were 60 steps, not including some of the steps that took multiple steps, but she I is did, done. I did six. You 50, did 58. 52. And I, and I did 60. I did 52 because Voldemort had 28. Mm, Nagini okay. had 24. All right, I'm going to start with Beltrix here. As you can see, all Massive the hair. hair. Yeah, a lot of hair pieces. I think Hermione this is even more know. than Hermione. Um, she does have little feet on under her robe. She holds um, the world record yeah. for biggest hair. The, so it is a normal wand, just like we would get with the other characters, the minifigs. But it sits in her hand differently. Like it points into the, her hand. Yeah, I, I noticed that. I noticed that. Her that's, gripping it. That's Voldemort too. Yeah. So there is Bellatrix. Let's look at Voldemort. Oh, I like his robes. So I'm going to show you here. Here it's he is. A lot like Dumbledore. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. This. Voldemort. Oh, I was pushing the headpiece one quite long. Okay. So, um, Dumbledore so these robes. robes in the back. I don't, we did a Dumbledore and I don't remember his robes being like this. So that's really cool. Again, the normal minifigure one and it sits in the hand. Uh, at the ballpoint, I guess. Um, not a whole lot of detail here on the top. They didn't snot it. Good grief, that does not want to stay on. So it looks cool, but it's not on there very well. You're dropping it. What else would you expect? You're dropping I'm not dropping it. it, I'm holding it, and it's falling off. Are you pushing pieces down? No, I was just holding it back here, turning them around, and it fell off. Uh, but he does have a cool printed piece there on the inside of his robes. No feet. Okay, there are those two. And the cute Nagini. And then here is Nagini. The cute one. 
And there is that printed piece that we saw. So they each got one printed piece. Yeah, it's tiny brain. Oh, a different stand. Yeah, because he's smaller. And then there is the bottom there. She. Um, cool little details. Little snake coiled up. I like how they did showed the coils. That's kind of cool. So there is Nagini. All in all, a pretty cool little build, don't you think? Yeah. It's kind of cool to get some bad guys to go with our all our good guys that we've done. Um, I'm pretty and that's, sure we've done a bad guy before, but... And that's it for today. So until next time... Happy building. Happy building, everyone.